Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new section of geometry. We're going to be looking at parallel lines and transversals. So mainly what this video is going to do is we're going to talk about some vocabulary. I've attached um, uh, a document uh, in your assignments today that has an area where you can write notes. So if you want to get that out and write the notes as we go through, that would be ideal. I'm not going to check your notes. Those are for you. But then the assignment that follows, you'll just submit um, your work for that, just like we always do. So without wasting too much time, we'll get into this. So you'll notice here I've got um, a set of lines. Well, there's three different lines. And although it doesn't say so yet, but these lines, so the line AB, we could also say AR would be the same line because they're collinear. AB and CD. Those would be a pair of parallel lines. Okay, so I think we all know what parallel lines are. Parallel lines are lines that do not intersect um, on a coordinate. They're in the same plane. Uh, they would have the same slope if we looked at them in uh, the plane. We also have something that's called a transversal here. And by definition, a transversal is uh, a line that intersects two lines in the same plane at two distinct points, okay? So we can see that this transversal intersects two different lines at two different points, so we would call that a transversal, okay? Now I'm just gonna go back a little bit, talk about parallel. To show that two lines are parallel, we can do something like this, where we show that the lines are parallel, usually we put them above each other, okay? If I had another pair of lines that were parallel, then I could make it a double arrow, Okay, just to show that it's a different set of pair of lines. Okay, uh, and so we formed all kinds of angles here uh, with the transversals and the parallel lines. Let's take a look at um, vertical angles. Okay, now sometimes they're called vertically opposite angles, sometimes they're called vertical angles, it doesn't really matter. And so if we have an intersection of two lines, uh, Vertical angles would be the opposite angles here. And if you notice, these two angles are opposite each other. They're congruent. And we can prove that um, looking at, we know that this pair of lines, this is called a linear pair. And a linear pair of angles uh, adds up to 180 degrees. So if I look at this angle EQD, and then I look at the angle DQR, the sum of those angles is 180. Pretty simple, it's a straight angle. Um, and so we know that this angle here is shared and by the same um, reason, the angle CQR and angle RQD are also have a sum of 180. So if the angles share this angle and they add up to 180, we could algebraically prove that these two angles are the same. Likewise, we have another pair of vertical angles here, CQE and RQD. Um, we could another pair of vertical angles and another pair of vertical angles. So those are what vertical angles are. They are congruent. Uh, alternate interior angles. Now we think about interior, but think about inside of the parallel lines. Okay, and so Here's our transversal. The angles that are inside would be here and here and here and here. Okay, so there's only four angles that are inside the parallel lines. And the alternate interior angles would be this interior angle and this interior angle here. Okay, and these alternate interior angles are also congruent. Okay, we could get into proofs of that. Um, and then Furthermore, so the other CQR, okay, and QRB are also uh, alternate and interior angles, so they are another congruent pair of angles. Um, if we go beyond that, we can look at alternate exterior angles, okay? So we have these are external angles here, and so if we look at angle ARF and angle EQD, those are alternate exterior angles are an alternate side of the transversal. So they're an alternate side of the transversal on the exterior of the parallel lines. Again, 
those angles are congruent. And we have another pair here, CQE and FRB are also alternate exterior angles, they are congruent. Uh, now we could look at what corresponding angles are. Um, corresponding angles, well, first of all, let's talk about what uh, supplementary angles are. So supplementary angles are any pair of angles that have a sum of 180 degrees. Okay, and as I talked about before, if we have a linear pair, for example, EQD and DQ are those two angles form a line which we know has a sum of 180 degrees so the, these two angles are a linear pair they're also called supplementary meaning they have a sum of 180 degrees okay now if we look at alternate interior angles again they may or may not be supplementary in fact the only time that they would be supplementary would be if they are at right angles because we can see this is uh, an acute angle and two acute angles will obviously be less than 180 degrees. And the only time they would be is if they're both right angles. Okay, so let's talk about um, corresponding angles. Now again, corresponding angles, okay, so they are angles that's kind of like they've been repeated. So looking at this angle here, okay, it corresponds with this angle here those are corresponding, okay? And it's obvious that they're repeating because of, just by a slope. So since the, this transversal is the same, it's collinear, um, and these have the same slope because they are parallel, that proves that these angles are the same, okay? Likewise, we could look here and see that these are corresponding angles, they are congruent, okay? Um, another pair of angles here are also congruent, okay? Um, well, I don't have to put that actually because with it, those are the same, okay? And then another pair of corresponding angles are congruent, okay? Uh, moving on to uh, consecutive interior angles. Okay, so consecutive interior angles are another pair of angles that are supplementary, okay? And so if we looked at, for example, these angles here, D, Q, R, okay? And then we look at Q, R, B. These are consecutive interior. So it's one angle and then the next angle inside of the parallel line. So consecutive interior angles kind of self-explanatory and if you notice if you're thinking about walking down the street and then you cross this to the other street which is parallel and turn around and come back uh, you've you've actually done a complete 180 degree turnaround and you're going back in the same direction so if you think about that we're actually switching exactly so if we're going straight in one direction so if we're headed north and then we cross the street and then we, we're going to be heading directly uh, um, south so that would be 180 degrees okay so these again are supplementary angles uh, you may run across uh, questions where we have complementary angles and complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees so you may we don't have any here in this case um, but if we formed a, a right triangle here okay and so if we made a triangle here, we made a new point, we called it like Z, okay? So triangle QZR, the angles here, so we could call this angle A and angle B, those angles would be complementary because they add up to 90 degrees, okay? Um, that should get you through most of the vocabulary you need for this exercise. You can go back um, and pause this video as you need. Uh, but you should be able to fill in your notes and answer the questions that you need to on today's assignment.